Hey guys, it's Timster here. And I decided to come today with a little bit more of a intimate food review. In front of me we have two pizza bagels. Some people call them bagel bites. I like to refer to them as pizza bagels because it's pizza and a bagel. A bagel bite would just be a tiny little bagel. Gosh, people are retarded. Okay, and over top, obviously we have cheese. I think it's more of a four cheese spread. Um, I, you know, pushed out for the little extra money and get a four cheese spread instead of the normal one white cheese. So, uh, you know, your normal mozzarella parm, sharp cheddar, um, probably a little bit of garlic herb, maybe, uh, you know, that type, type of stuff. It's really, you can, I'll be able to tell in a minute. Don't worry, my palate is perfect. Okay. On top, as you can see, we have a little bit of a hot sauce. Almost looks like a little bit of a ketchup e substance. And then over that layer, we have a sprinkle of um, garlic salt, which will bring all the flavors together. This is my bib, and then I have my large glass of lemonade um, for assistance. Now, people always tell me not to dive right into them because you'll burn your mouth, but I'm a big boy. I can handle myself. That was a mistake. That's okay. We're gonna keep moving. So, one pizza bagel down. And the hot sauce was really a good addition to it because it not only um, did what I normally do on pizza, which is put hot sauce, in it, hot sauce on it, but it just, it really just brings that spice that I like. And like in my last video, um, I did use spicy ranch, which was a horrible mistake, but this is a little bit better. This is what I want in spicy. I used Frank's Blue Hot, um, hot sauce, and that garlic salt is really what I'm looking for right here. Mmm. It's perfectly spread through all five pizza bagels. Let's not overpower one and, you know, count out another perfect consistency. It's a very nice crunch, but at the same time, the inside is very soft. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very evident in my mouth. <sighs> okay. Um, this one's a little bit more darker. Um... Maybe we can get some more crunch. I don't know how it's gonna be on the inside. Maybe it might be a little burnt. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that one. You could definitely tell that that one was a little burnt. Um, we're just not gonna, we're just not gonna eat that one. This one's a little bit more of a whiter, you know, like me. And that one, that one was a little bit too soft. I just guess I couldn't find the right place to put them in the toaster oven. They're either too soft or too crunchy. Can you hear that? Yeah. Can you hear that crunch at home, guys? That is what I'm looking for. But you can only tell if you get real up close and personal. I want people to hear my crunch all the way in Mexico. Soon they might not be able to hear it because sound bounces off walls. But for right now, they can they can still hear a good crunch. That. Mmm. This is the number one pizza bagel. Okay. I'm going to save this one for later because it's just still good. Well, I'm going to end it with this one. If you buy pizza bagels, I do recommend getting the five cheese, which I got. 
extra pepperoni. Make sure you find a good spot to put it in your toaster oven. That way, it's perfectly crunchy on the outside and very soft in the middle. Or if you like it the other way around, uh, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Thanks, guys, for watching.